how to get five listings in 30 days without spending any money. Hey there, Shady Bazzi here. Welcome to another Top Listing Agent Training where today we're gonna talk about how to get five listings in 30 days without spending any money. I get people that call me up all the time or engage in conversation with me online asking me the question, how do I become a top listing agent? And usually people want to be taking like a listing every single week. So that's why I decided to have this conversation today with you about how to take five listings in the next 30 days. Now, this conversation was not just derived from the questions I always get. This conversation was derived in observing one new person that we are working with in our top listing agent training listings on demand this person four five six months ago his name is mike he was practically just like how do i get my next deal kind of conversation not having enough in the pipeline or anything like that and all of a sudden the last three months has been the top listing agent in his office with about a hundred 50 agents in that office. So I broke down the answer, not out of my head, but in taking a look at somebody like Mike and saying, what got him there? And then I inserted the rest of the equation to get you there as fast as possible. By the way, if you're new to our channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notifications to be notified of all trainings that we release throughout the week every single week here we go so the first point i put down is the following so we're talking about mike taking five listings last month okay that was five months in the making that was five months in the making so the first point i put down is the following if you want to go for it you got to grow for it if you want to go for it if you want to go for it you got to grow for it if you want to go for five in a month you got to grow to become the kind of person who can take five in a month could that potentially happen for you in the next 30 days where you watch this video today you apply exactly what i'm going to tell you to do and you go out there and take five listings in the next 30 days yes that is 100 possible yet that is not a common result that most people experience. Everyone, whether there are five, six, seven, eight, nine, or 10 transactions a month, that person has been ramping up to that level. So a lot of times we got our expectations backwards. So again, can you get to five listings in the next 30 days? Absolutely. Can you get to five listings in 30 days every 30 days here and forward the answer is 100 percent yes but that is going to require some changes that you got to make to be able to make that happen so what's it going to take for you to get there put down big bold 90 day commitment 90 day commitment by the way if you follow this plan that i'm going to give you today you could get five listings in the next 30 days or between 31 and 60 or between 60 and 90 it's guaranteed to get you there some of you guys will get there faster than others just depending on your level of experience in the business and your level of commitment to making that a reality there is magic that happens inside of a 90-day cycle 90 days of working out you're gonna lose weight you're gonna gain muscle you're gonna be more fit you're gonna be more energetic you're gonna be more focused etc 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 90 days of actively working on building your business you're going to see all the numbers move in your favor and you and i both know this business works in 90 day cycles you generate just because you generate a lead today you got to nurture the lead you got to get to the appointment you got to get to the offer or take the listing market the listing open up escrow you know go through the closing period etc that in itself could be good 60 to 90 days that's why i want you to make a big bold commitment to follow through on exactly what I'm going to tell you to do right now for the next 90 days. And what I mean by that is do whatever it takes. Do whatever it takes. The mindset is very simple. Here's your mindset for the next 90 days. I am either on an appointment or working on finding myself my next appointment. That's it. For the next 90 days, 
you're either on an appointment or working on finding your next appointment. That is the mindset that I want you to obsess with. I'm either servicing an appointment or I'm doing whatever it takes to find my next appointment. So here's what I want you to do for the next 30 days. The plan is as follows for the first 30 days. Whatever amount of days you're working, this is based more like on a five or more uh, day work week. 30 contacts minimum standard for the next 30 days. 30 contacts a day minimum standard for the next 30 days. Now I know I lost some of you guys already because you're thinking to yourself, oh my gosh, 30 contacts, that is so much. Look, look at the previous point. Do whatever it takes, big, bold commitment, big, bold commitment. Does that necessarily mean that you need to make that many contacts every single day for the remainder of your career? Absolutely not. That is not the case. Does that mean you need to put the reps? Absolutely. Yes, because the more reps you put in, the better you get and the better you get, the more effective you become, the more efficient you become, the less people you need to speak to, to get to that result. So 30 contacts every single day for the next 30 days. So that's what you're going to do. Next step, you got to keep track of the numbers. Something that I know like literally 90% of you guys out there don't keep track of the numbers. You don't know your numbers. You don't even like numbers, etc. But I'm telling you, if you want to become a top listing agent, that's exactly what you got to do. I want you to keep track of these numbers. I'm going to give you exactly what numbers I want you to keep track of. I'm trying to keep it simple for you. We can get a little bit more analytical if we choose to, but we're not going to do that for the sake of just getting you to five listings in 30 days. You're going to keep track of contacts made every single day because there's going to be days where you make more than 30 contacts because sometimes you're just going to be like on a roll and you're going to keep on giving it all you got for that day. So 30, uh, 30 contacts, you're going to keep track of contacts made. The second number that you're going to keep track of is listing appointments gone on. And the third number is the number of listings that you take. You're going to do that for 30 days. At the end of 30 days, you're going to take all those numbers and you're going to analyze those numbers. What we need to find out is, hey, how many contacts do I need to make to land myself an appointment? Okay, so for example, if you did 30 contacts a day and you work 20 days in a month, that means you made 600 contacts. Let's say you went on uh, six appointments for keeping the numbers uh, nice, pretty, and, and simple. And let's say you took three listings. Well, here's what we now know. Contacts to appointment, it's taking you 100 contacts to an appointment. But for a lot of my clients, it's like literally 20, 30 contacts. And then for the elite clients that I'm working with, like Greg out of New Jersey, it's like literally 10 people I speak to, he is on an appointment, okay? So contacts to appointments, we wanna know what that number is for you. Appointments to listings, meaning how many appointments you need to go on to take a listing. In this case, based on these numbers that uh, we're playing around with, uh, it would be two appointments to a listing taken okay and then if we want to break it up into contacts then it's basically 200 contacts to a listing taken so now we have some numbers these are not you know pie in the sky kind of numbers these are real numbers and look if we get 10 of you guys to do this i'd love to know what your numbers are in the comments and if you're having a hard time running the math i'll run the math for you if you share your numbers with me down in the comments below okay so if these are the numbers, okay, then we move on to the next step to reverse engineer the numbers so we know exactly what we gotta do during month number two and then month number three, we repeat this process every single month. So now, all I gotta do is take a look at month number two, if I didn't take five listings in month number one, say, hey, you know, what is my listing goal for the next 30 days? It's five, so I write down five listings is my goal, okay contacts to a listing taken well here's what we've already identified we've already identified that 200 contacts equals a listing taken so what's five times 200 equals 1000 contacts this means that i gotta make 1000 contacts in the next 30 days again i'm losing a lot of you guys here because it is a large number and i take you back to how we started this conversation by, by saying big, bold, 90-day commitment. Do whatever it takes. 
For the next 90 days, the majority of what I'm doing is two things. Number one, I'm either on an appointment or I'm working on something to find myself my next appointment. Okay, so if it's a thousand contacts, we take that to the next level. And we say, how many days am I going to work in the next 30 days? Let's say, for example, you're going to work 25 days. So running simple math on this would be we take 1,000 and we divide that by 25 working days. It means you got to make 40 contacts a day. That is a real number. That is not a pie in the sky number. That's based on your 30 days of analyzing your numbers. You just reverse engineered exactly what it is that you got to do to take five listings in 30 days. My question to you is if you knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that four hours a day on the phone, four hours a day on the phone, okay, based on these numbers is going to give you five listings to where your average commission check may be 5,000 or 10,000 or 15,000 or more. If it's guaranteed to give you that, would you do it? A hundred percent of you are going to say, yes, I would. But some of you guys just don't know if these numbers are going to be realistic for you or not. And that's exactly why I'm going to tell you, don't believe anything I say, put it to the test for the first 30 days analyze your numbers, give it a shot for the next 30 days and or up to 60 days to complete a 90 day cycle. And I guarantee you that 99.9999% of you guys are going to send me a thank you note for following this process. But let's take it a step further. There's something else I need you to do every single day to get you to those results as fast as possible. You need to role play your appointment setting script before you start setting appointments every single morning, 15, 20 minutes maximum, just role playing your scripts and dialogues, what to say, when to say it, how to say it, etc., to warm yourself up and get yourself ready to create the result that you're after for the day. And again, during the PM hours, because we usually go on appointments during the PM hours, 15 to 20 minutes role playing, practicing your listing presentation scripts and dialogues. My gosh, you do this every single day, whether you got an appointment or not for the next 30, 60, 90 days, are you going to have better skills than you do right now? We both know the answer is yes. What else is a big benefit and a result as of doing this activity every single day? More confidence. And we know more confidence equals less doubt and more action which ultimately is going to put you in a position to become a top listing agent. So what should a typical day look like for you on your pursuit to getting to five listings in 30 days? I put down the following. Hey, if, if I were to design the day for you and you can modify your start time any way you want, I'll tell you what's negotiable, what, what's not negotiable. What's negotiable is what time you get up. I'm going to suggest that you get up like at 5.55 a.m giving yourself a couple of hours to get kids ready, breakfast, uh, go through your morning routine and all that good stuff. So 5.55 uh, would be a good starting point to complete your morning routine. What's non-negotiable is getting on the phones no later than 8 a.m. Check your local state, your local board, your local marketplace, make sure that is the legal time. I'm certain it's legal 8 a.m. in most parts of the country. Just a disclaimer I had to put out there. 8 a.m. start making calls until you set an appointment or you get to lunchtime. Meaning, whatever it takes from 8 a.m. until I reach my 30 contacts and or set an appointment and or get to lunchtime, that's the only thing I'm doing. Meaning, I am not on Facebook, I am not on YouTube watching a shady bazzy video, I am not taking incoming phone calls. I'm not checking text messages. I am doing nothing but staying 100% focused on the pursuit of finding someone that I could list their home. So talking about calling, who should you be calling? I'm going to give you the call flow. We begin A by calling new and old expireds, then calling new and old for sale by owners, then doing lead follow-up, and then working the database. That is it. So now, I put down the following thought. The final thought is this. Easier said than done. I get it until it is done. And there are a lot of people in your marketplace that are taking five or more listings every single month consistently. And if they can do it, why can't you? If someone else can do it, so 
can you. So if you are someone who is ready to level up, ready to take more listings, and you just need a little bit more support, a little bit more help, some accountability, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, then I want you to check out the link in the description below where you can schedule a time to speak to myself or one of my team members of how we could assist you in taking more listings in way less time through our listings on demand training. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell notification button, and I'll see you in the next Top Listing Agent Training video. Take care. Bye-bye.